Hi, I'm Tim Healy with Healing Success Solutions, and today I'd like to talk to you about the little known secrets that your prospects and customers never want you to know about. Now, I call these little known secrets controlling techniques, not because you're the one in control, but rather your prospect and customers controlling you. Now, here's the first one of those secret weapons. It's called futuring. As the name implies, the prospect just put you your sales call, your quote or proposal off into some uncommitted future. What does it sound like? They could say something like, well, Bob, thanks for coming in today. We really like your quote. We have to discuss things. We'll call you in two weeks. Where are you? You're lost. You're not in control. How do you get around it? Very simply, here's the good news. You ask a direct, open-ended, probing question like, well, I'm glad to hear that. Thanks. Now, help me to understand what happens if you're delayed in fixing this problem? Can you live with the delay? Now, that question is doing a great job of uncovering whether they're buying or lying. Futuring is a timeline technique, so you have to test their urgency as to when they want to fix this. That's very important. It's that secret weapon number one. Secret weapon number two that they never want you to know about is called masking. Now, this one's a little more subtle, and it involves non-specific or nebulous responses in what they're saying to you. It's a little tricky. And they want to cover up the truth here. So, it can sound something like, Bob, we really love this quote. You did a great job. Um, we'd just like to see a new version of that. Can you help us with that? Now, the problem is here, you don't know why they want to see a new quote. So, let's get back to asking a direct, open-ended, probing question. Here's an example. I wouldn't mind at all putting together a new proposal or a quote for you, but just help me to understand what was missing in this one. And what would you like to see in the next one? Again, what you've done is you've stopped the conversation. You're asking a direct question that they have to answer. So that conversation will bring the truth to the surface, and it's going to help put you in control of your very next call. So now you're, you're aware. You know what futuring sounds like. You know what masking sounds like. Be prepared, folks. It's not that challenging to ask that great open-ended probing question so you're in control. Thanks for watching.